Hi guys, uh, welcome back to Revit 2016 video tutorials. In this video tutorial, we will discuss how to uh, install the piles in the modeling. So basically, our model was something like this. As you can see, I have a basement, I have a ground, then I have first floor, second floor, third floor, fourth, fifth, sixth, and I have till ninth and tenth floor. I'm sorry, it's ninth floor. So guys, once you create the grid, just make sure that in all the elevations, I mean, you have uh, a grid, grid-like shape. Because uh, when you make sure that you have a grid-like shape in south elevation, sometimes in east elevation we have uh, something like different. I mean, it isn't grid-like shape. So that in that case you just uh, pull it uh, entirely. So just I'll show you how to pull it. So you are gonna uh, select the pink circle and you are gonna move it up and down in order to create the grid. Okay. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the basement over here and you can see that there is a grid and I need uh, piles some at some of these positions and foundations at some of these positions. So in this video we'll look for piles. So first we'll go to structure and here we'll say isolated foundations. But these are uh, like uh, rectangular foundations but we don't have piles over here. So what we'll do is uh, we'll select load family. We'll just uh, move back to libraries, and over here we'll select U.S. Imperial. Then we go to bottom and select structural foundations, and over here you select pile cap with four piles, four four pile cap, or you can even select the two one and make a. Uh, the cap a square a square shape, but I'll instead select a four by four pile pile cap. I'll select open. Oh, I'm sorry. So as you see, uh, you have pile cap over here. Uh, let me make the distances a little bit. Let me edit the distances. So here you go select edit type and here you select duplicate and now you select uh, let's say piles like pile piles 2 ok select ok you go you give a name for your pile cap coming to here so I need width and length as 100 inches so that will be 96 inches means 12 8 that will be 8 feet and 4 inches and here you go 8 feet and 4 inches and I want uh, the thickness to be same uh, now I'll select ok so as you can see uh, I have the pile over here and I can select wherever location I want it. So what I'll do is uh, I'll just uh, have piles on the outer boundary and somewhere in somewhere in the middle. Now I'll select escape or I will give a, a right click and I'll select cancel. So uh, now that I have all these piles and I need to uh, like copy or, uh, copy it over here. So I'll just uh, select those piles uh, by selecting my control button. Now I will go to um, I 
I'll select copy and now it will ask me for base point so I'll select that one as my base point and I will move it to this end here you go so you got all, of, all your piles for there and let me uh, just copy them once again so I'll select this one as base point and let's say over here and over here that will be better yeah once again copy select the base point as my center and move it over here I mean this is just uh, this is kind of like uh, I will be doing this project for myself but you can uh, I'm just explaining how uh, explaining you how to do it and you will you can learn on yourself to do your own project um, once again uh, I'll just go to isolated and I'll select my pile and I need it over outside since uh, this is a bigger building I mean it kind of uses uh, piles mostly so mm, I'll just using control bottle select all the piles now I will copy them selecting the base point and moving it to this end and here there are some identical instances that will result in double counting in schedules so just uh, what you do is you in order uh, to remove uh, to not get double double counted so you'll just uh, we'll just select the ones which are not available on the other side now you can copy them now you do, didn't get any error so in this way uh, you install your pile foundations in your modeling of probably a building or office or whatever you do your project so now uh, we'll just see it in 3D how does it look so there you go it kind of looks awesome wow you see there are four piles and a pile cap of 30 inches thickness and 100 by 100 width and length so in this way uh, you can install pile foundations uh, in the next class we'll probably learning about other foundations thank you for watching the video